As a platform engineer and former Linux system administrator, I prefer doing things through the command line rather than clicking through a UI. This is one of the many advantages to Kubernetes that I really loved in that everything is represented as a declarative configuration in YAML manifests. In this video, we will go through an example of creating an Argo CD instance, connecting a cluster with the Acuity agent and bootstrapping it with an app of apps with all of this configuration defined declaratively. When you use the Acuity platform to host your Argo CD instance, you no longer have to worry about the actual underlying infrastructure, the Kubernetes cluster running Argo CD, but you still have to manage the configuration for that instance. Going through the UI is great for a getting started experience because it allows you to get a feel for working with the platform and exploring the settings. Plus, there are some nice to haves like a wizard that walks you through creating the notifications configuration without having to understand the YAML, but at a certain point, when you want the configuration to persist over a long term, you'll want to store it in Git and track changes to it like you would any other configuration. This is where the declarative management feature of the Acuity platform comes in. It allows you to define the configuration for your Argo CD instance in Kubernetes and Kubernetes-like manifest and apply it using the Acuity CLI. I'll show you just how easy it is to get a production-ready instance of Argo CD up and running on the Acuity platform without any concern for the underlying infrastructure. So I'll start off by demonstrating how in three commands, you can create an Argo CD instance and bootstrap your Kubernetes cluster with applications using that instance. The prerequisites for getting started with the declarative management functionality of the Acuity platform are that you one, have the Acuity CLI installed, which you can do by running brew install or by manually downloading the binary of the desired version and installing that on your machine. Secondly, you're going to need a Kubernetes cluster that you can install the agent into and that Argo CD will re deploy resources to. Now you can accomplish both of these in one step by cloning the declarative example GitHub repository, which includes a dev container configuration that will come pre-installed with the Acuity CLI and spin up a local Kubernetes cluster using kind. You can even follow along fully in GitHub code spaces, which means you don't have to have any of this installed locally on your machine to try out this declarative management functionality. So we'll start off by running the acuity login command. It'll open up a new tab in your browser where you can click confirm. And if you head back to the CLI, you'll see that you're now successfully logged in. From here, we can run acuity argo cd apply dash f. We'll point it to the Acuity platform example folder in my GitOps repo, which contains my declarative configuration. And then I'll specify the org name that I want to create this instance in, which in my case is Mori Tech. And when I run that command, it'll create my Argo CD instance and provision the agent that I want to install to my Kubernetes cluster connecting it back to my Argo CD instance on the Acuity platform. And then I can use the Acuity CLI to grab the manifest for the agent that I want to install in my cluster by running Acuity Argo CD cluster get agent manifest. And I'll specify the cluster name kind and the Argo CD instance name example. And when I run this command, it's going to print out the manifest to deploy the agent and so after I've reviewed those manifests, I can use that same command, but pipe it to kubectl apply dash F, and then another hyphen to tell it to pull from standard out. And that will apply the agent manifest to the cluster that my context is currently set to. So if I check the acuity namespace on that cluster, you'll see that it's created the acuity agent and the Argo CD components in my managed cluster. And it's these components that will connect it back to the Argo CD instance running on the Acuity platform. From here, I can authenticate the Argo CD CLI against my instance on the Acuity platform. And then I can use the Argo CD CLI to list the applications that got deployed to my Argo CD instance. And we can see that we have the initial bootstrap application here. We've got my Helm guestbook and my SyncWave applications, which if I check my cluster, have already been deployed thanks to the application included in the declarative configuration for my Argo CD instance. If I open up the Acuity platform dashboard here, you can see all of my Argo CD instances. And we've got the example instance here, which is the one I created with my declarative configuration. 
I can click the Argo CD server URL at the top of my instance dashboard, which will bring me to the familiar Argo CD interface. I'll log in with the admin account. And you can see that I've already got the Bootstrap, Helm Guestbook, and SyncWave applications, which are all synced and healthy and already deploying resources to the Kubernetes cluster that I deployed the agent to. Let's take a look at the actual configuration that I applied using the Acuity CLI. So to start off with, we have the Argo CD manifest, which describes the instance configuration that we want to create on the Acuity platform. In this case, I'm leaving all of the instance settings as default and then setting the version for my instance to Argo CD version 2.9.1. Then I've got my cluster manifest, which describes what clusters I want to provision agents for. In this case, I'm provisioning an agent for my cluster name kind, and I want the size of that agent to be small. The resource allocations for the agent components that are going to be deployed in my cluster, I want them to have low resource quotas because it's a low load cluster. Then we have the Argo CD config map and Argo CD secret manifests, which are the same specification as the upstream Argo CD configurations. So if you already have an open source Argo CD instance, you can copy over those manifests into here and have them apply to your new Argo CD instance managed on the Acuity platform. And finally, I have an Argo CD application named Bootstrap, which is essentially an app of apps. And if you're not familiar with the app of apps pattern, feel free to check out our other video on the Acuity YouTube channel on the app of apps pattern. But what it essentially does is deploys the other application manifest from the apps folder. So this initial Bootstrap application replaces the need for you to go and manually create the first application so that the rest of them can be defined declaratively. Instead, when you run the Acuity Argo CD apply command, you can include applications as a part of that to immediately bootstrap your Argo CD instance with the rest of the applications that you want to deploy. So we can see that all of this configuration is reflected on the Acuity platform. Our clusters dashboard shows the kind cluster that we provisioned an agent for and because we deployed those agent manifests, we can see that the cluster agent is up and running and healthy from the status check here. We can see that Helm and Customize are both enabled for manifest generation. And ultimately, we have a fully functioning instance of Argo CD without any concern for the actual underlying infrastructure that's running that Argo CD instance. Instead, I can focus on configuring Argo CD to address the needs for my environment. Now, if you're like me and you started off creating your first instance by poking through the Acuity Platform dashboard, you may end up with an instance that you now want to configure declaratively. So to accommodate that, you can actually export your entire Argo CD configuration using the Acuity CLI. So I'm going to create a, a new folder under Acuity Platform for my instance named Argo CD. So I can use the Acuity CLI to export the configuration of my existing Argo CD instance that's named Argo-CD from my Mori Tech organization into a file in that new folder that I created. And by doing that, I can get the entire configuration for my Argo CD instance that I created through the UI as declarative manifest that I can use to now track changes to that configuration and of course, one of the main benefits of using the declarative management functionality is that you can now detect changes in the Argo CD configuration that deviate from the desired state for that instance. Say for instance, that I now want to upgrade my Argo CD instance from version 2.9.1 to 2.9.3. I can use the Acuity Argo CD diff command to reference the local desired state against the live state of that instance. It'll show me that the only difference if I apply this change is to the version of my Argo CD instance, meaning there hasn't been any drift other than the change that I'm intentionally trying to make. And then I can simply apply that new configuration using the Acuity CLI. At which point, if I go back to the Acuity platform dashboard here, you can see that my Argo CD instance is now running version 2.9.3.
and it's actively being upgraded by the Acuity Platform control plane for me. Thank you for watching this video on the declarative management functionality of the Acuity Platform. By removing the concern for the underlying infrastructure, you can minimize the manual efforts to implement Argo CD and instead focus on using it to create a first-class developer experience in your organization. If you liked this video and would like to learn more about the Acuity Platform, check out the links in the description below. I'll include the tutorial for getting started with declarative management and check out the other videos on the Acuity YouTube channel for more Argo project related content, like how to use Helm values files with Argo CD. If you'd like to chat with me on anything Argo or cloud native, I'm happy to connect on LinkedIn, or you can find me on the CNCF Slack. I'll see you next time.